Have you ever wondered how we know the age of ancient artifacts or fossils? How do scientists decipher the chronology of life on Earth that spans billions of years? The answer lies in a fascinating scientific method known as radiocarbon dating. Radiocarbon dating offers a window into the past, allowing us to measure the age of organic materials by examining the amount of a specific isotope, carbon-14, present within them. This method is a cornerstone in fields such as archaeology and geology, where it's used to date organic remains and artifacts. The principle behind radiocarbon dating is quite simple. Carbon-14, an isotope of carbon, is continuously created in our planet's atmosphere as cosmic rays interact with nitrogen atoms, maintaining a radioactive equilibrium. As long as an organism is alive, it maintains a constant ratio of carbon-14 to the stable isotope, carbon-12, through respiration and consumption of carbon-based food sources. But here's the catch. When an organism dies, it stops absorbing carbon, and the carbon-14 within its body begins to decay. With a half-life of around 5,730 years, carbon-14 decays into nitrogen-14. Therefore, by measuring the remaining amount of carbon-14 in a sample, scientists can estimate when the organism died. So how does this process work? The journey of radiocarbon dating involves several stages. To start with, a sample is selected and prepared. This sample needs to be an organic material like bone, wood, or charcoal, which is well-preserved and free from contamination by recent carbon sources. The sample is then treated to remove any impurities. Following this, the sample is converted into a form suitable for measurement. This usually involves burning the sample to convert it into carbon dioxide gas, which is then purified and converted into graphite. The graphite is compressed into a target and placed in a particle accelerator. The accelerator bombards the sample with high-energy ions, causing the carbon atoms to release particles that can be measured. The final step involves measuring the amount of carbon-14 in the sample, using a technique called mass spectrometry. This technique allows scientists to count the number of carbon-14 atoms present and compare it to the number of stable carbon-12 atoms. By calculating this ratio, scientists can determine the age of the sample. However, radiocarbon dating isn't without its limitations. It's only useful for dating organic materials up to about 50,000 years old, as beyond this point, the amount of carbon-14 becomes too small to measure accurately. Also, the process assumes that the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 in the atmosphere has been relatively constant, which may not always be the case. Despite these limitations, radiocarbon dating remains a critical tool in our quest to understand the past. It has transformed fields like archaeology by providing a reliable method to date artifacts and fossils. By measuring the decay of carbon-14, Scientists can unlock the mysteries of the past and gain valuable insights into not just the history of our planet, but also the history of life itself.